in this scenario, they have no interest, mm -hmm. none whatsoever. How long before the Kyle Rittenhouse situation, that night, did it come out that he was a white oh, yeah. supremacist or tied to militia? Right now, they have the police scanner audio. Yeah. They've and caught the guy. They have his criminal record. And, uh, and we don't know if uh, you know, he or she or uh, Z uh, in, in there uh, you know, uh, could have been aggravated, in fact, because it was not a gay pride parade. And that's uh, going to force us to take a, a, a good, long, hard look at ourselves. Back to you, Anderson. So yesterday, you all know that a, a, a car uh, plowed through right. a Christmas parade in Wisconsin. Oh, it wasn't a gay pride parade, so no one will care. Right, exactly. Yeah. Ah, no yeah. one will. No the media said an accident. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, an accident. Yeah, you right. drive at. Well, people. we have some more info here on the suspect today, and yeah. there was a lot of misinformation on both sides going out yesterday. I would say ninety-five percent confident in what we've confirmed, so I want to make sure that we have it accurate for you. Uh, at least at this point, yep. at the point of broadcasting, uh, five killed, over forty injured. I'm not going to show you the video. I don't want to show you the video. No, uh, there's the video is very suspicious because he does swerve to avoid some people. Then deliberately hits other people. Mm. The first story we were given was, oh, it was another event that had taken place, a stabbing yeah. uh, or some kind of violent crime, and then he was fleeing, and that was and that was it. That was all we heard. Well, yeah. that's obviously not true. This wasn't the route he would have had to take to flee, and he was proactively seeking out people to kill if you watch the video, which, look, take my word for it, I don't encourage you to watch the video. It absolutely is. This is just heartbreaking. It, 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 I get a pit in my stomach even thinking about it. Kids... Well, yeah. as far as we know, could have been killed. But here's the thing. But why is that? I don't mean to cut you off, Mr. But why is there a defense to it right away? Why would you jump to defending? Like, look, guys, he was just fleeing a stabbing. It wasn't right. on purpose. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's nothing to defend. That, well, you haven't you, you haven't heard of a, a good old knife fight? Come on, Mackay Bryant. That's what they that's what they do. And by they, I mean the the kids. Yes. the kids. It's all TikTok and uh, knife fighting these yeah. days. But yeah. well, so what? So he stabbed somebody and was trying to get away and was driving it. At He's people. an influencer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really, we're just crying out loud. What, what are you doing? How about you do your part and open up uh, the door to your Neiman Marcus for those in need? Yeah. Well, Dave, you know exactly <laughs> what they're doing. Yeah, they're providing cover. Right. Of course. Every or at time. least they're praying and hoping, like, oh, please, God, don't let this be in re you know, relation to the Rittenhouse verdict. Well, when is the media going to start getting charged for the stuff that they've caused for the last two years? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it would be never. Never. Be well, never. they should be because there's a difference between freedom of speech and inciting complete crime and Wait, 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 wait. You say inciting is bad i thought they knew that yeah, yeah. They've oh. done it. they want to claim that we're inciting violence by <laughs> saying don't job. allow yourself to yeah. be a victim whereas they go out and say white supremacy folks the kyle rittenhouse jury shows you that white people can kill anybody in america what if he was black we're going to get to that in a second also we have an example right here of how the media treated it very differently so it just said person actually at the time of this broadcast or at least when i started this show cnn still doesn't have a description no. of the suspect they did not at as of nine 30, 10 30 Eastern, sorry, AM on Monday. So either they're not doing their job, they're really bad at their job, or they're lying. At what point do they cease to be useful? At what point do we realize that they are not news organizations? 20 years ago? Yeah, you would think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, one of the last time Ted Turner rode out in a steer. Um, <laughs> here's the police scanner that reported the suspect. This happened. You would think they'd have access to it, considering that we did. Well, it's a Jarrell Brooks that rings for anything. Moving a for my ran that subject washed on his ID in the car. He is suspended. Looks like he's at at least 199 on the system. Okay, that's who he's identifying himself as. Lighter skin, black male, dreadlocks, red shirt, no shoes. Now, I guess what Cena would have preferred the description be, uh, he's a. You know what? Uh, with well, uh, the hair. Just grab a dog whistle. <laughs> so this didn't stop <laughs> leftists so and media right away from jumping on to white supremacy Kyle Rittenhouse narrative. So journalist uh, Chris Wiggins, who is not from a Dickens novel, uh, tweeted, It's okay. The driver in Waukesha was afraid for his life and defending himself from the unarmed holiday crowd. That's Wisconsin law now. Actor, oh, that's awesome to say. Yeah, actor Angela Belcamino said the driver from the incident in Waukesha will claim self-defense. It's just the new normal. Writer Janice Hoff, have we learned what color the driver was so right-wing media can decide if running people over at Christmas Parade was terrorism, mental illness, or someone acting in perceived self-defense? Okay, look, <sighs> look. Do you not understand? We cannot find common ground if you don't realize the difference between Kyle Rittenhouse cleaning up graffiti, providing medical care, and, and the then being chased down by pedophiles 
pedophiles, woman, girlfriend beaters. I can't say wife beater because they don't, no, yeah, they don't, don't put a ring on it. Uh, and serial commits. criminals only shooting people who violently attacked him or tried to kill him. And somebody who deliberately plows through innocent women and children at a parade. Do we honestly want to act as though the if you act like the only differentiator is race, you're a racist. And this is the prime. Look, let me put a fine point on this. The biggest problem that we have today, the biggest problem that we have with our media is that it is intensely racist. Absolutely. Yes. They are intensely racist. I, and I mean, I do mean anti-white as a general rule. And I'm not someone who goes around and says, I'm proud to be white because I didn't do anything to be white. I'm not proud of my skin color. I'm not, not, pr I'm not ashamed of my skin color. It's sort of a neutral. It's not a character point. They definitely have a bias against white people, and more importantly, they see everything through the prism of race. If the only difference you see between a Kyle Rittenhouse and this is race, you are a racist, and everyone in mainstream media, this is, this is how they replied, with the exception of Fox News and a few places like that. Yeah. How did they all get it wrong? How does CNN not have it up now, at least 15 minutes ago? Daryl Brooks Jr. was released, just to, be, just to be clear, this goes back to the looting problem, on a $1,000 bond two days ago for domestic abuse and bail jumping. He's also registered sex offender. And just in case wow. you don't, you know, you won't see this on CNN, MSNBC, any of these places, uh, believe your lion eyes and ears. Here he is explaining the charges. By the way, like the wet bandits incriminating himself <laughs> on video. And then as soon as we fall out, all of a sudden now I'm a pedophile. Let me explain that. Ten years ago, 2006... I caught a case with my oldest daughter's mama. Yes, my baby mama. She's from Oakland. I was busting moves in Nevada. What does that mean? I meet the bitch. Oh, yeah. She says she want to get down, so I'm pimping on the bitch. It's a great hat. You know what I'm saying? I get cracked. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the bitch was 16 at the time. She gave a statement to the police and told them, yeah, she was hoeing, that I was pimping. And, and, uh, that <laughs> winner, 16, man. What a winner. That I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay. Monday motivation. I didn't know the bitch was sixteen. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Guy, is that a, is that a legal defense? <laughs> I think so. She no. was yeah. fifteen. I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Card every bitch? So, by the way, uh, media hasn't done any digging. Now people are wondering if there's a motivation here because it seems like a targeted attack. Yeah. Uh, his social media is full of pro Black Lives Matter, which I define as a domestic terrorist group and anti Cal Rittenhouse. Can't posts. we at this point? He Come tweeted on. a photo of a MAGA hat that said, "Write Kanye's wire Kanye's mouth shut again." All caps. I don't know if that's the name that's of an little, album. It's too wordy. Uh, Facebook. <laughs> it read, "Religion is white supremacy." Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, I, I mean, come on, for crying. I, they still don't have it up at CNN. Look, why is this story being buried? Look, right yeah, now they're right talking now about now it. Right now, let's bring it up on CNN Nothing. right now. Let's see if right they mention the guy. Uh, within at least two feet, I could have touched the car going by. Was the guy white or black? He threw his child no. out of the way. I'm getting tired of this accent. Natasha Chen joins us now from the scene. Just a little bit. Natasha, what, no what offense. More are we, we go now live in Waukesha to the Avery family. Yeah. It does take the seriousness out of it. I don't know what happened motivation. there with Theresa Hall back at the parade. Uh, and but the police really wouldn't answer any questions about uh, what role that person played or anything that person said to them when he was he or she was taken into custody. Wait, he or uh, she? He or she? Come on, really? moderately wow. Asian reporter Natasha Chen. Do you not know if it's a he or a she, or is this just your gender bending bullshit where you don't want to? Did he? Do you? Did you say he when you when you spoke with him? He's like, that's some bullshit. I am non-binary. What happened? He or she? Did you guys uh, see this? A girl. Did yeah, everyone just see this in real time? They have, a, they have a, a, a hit list here of information. And it doesn't include the guy. Wow. At all. Not at, at, all. at all. We don't have any information. Could you imagine this reporting 15 years ago? I know. Well, you it probably did happen. Too. We just weren't able to fact check it. That's the issue. Yeah, it right. forces, us to re forces us to question every single story that we thought we knew because... Yeah. They were, the ex they were doing the exact same thing. It's just now, look, you are able to watch them live, and you're able to watch us. They have three people on CNN right now. Is it okay, by the way? You guys hit the like button if you want me to go to see. I want to see right now in real time. Give them a little bit of time to see if they do the right thing. Can we do this? I think so. Because yeah. they've Let's got three it. people. Let's see. If a single one of them, again, we have his information. We know what crimes he's committed. We know when he got out on bail two days ago and for which crimes. His name is, is it, I Daryl Brooks Jr. Let's see if anyone says it. What compelled mm. this person to drive their car at that rate this of speed? crowd of people, you know, gathered to celebrate the holidays yeah. is just a, a confounding. Um, 
But, you know, we're not going to get an answer to that uh, right away. Certainly you already not have until it. law enforcement feels more comfortable like, it's, sharing it's some of those details. Uh, we've heard different reporting this morning that he may have been... Well, I guess we'll never know what incident. happened on that uh, mysterious Thanksgiving Eve. Law enforcement corroborated but, that. Uh, yeah, we, only, we do have the guy in custody. It, there is a person of interest. Do you mean when you reach through the driver's side window and pull him out? Yeah, the guy? Yeah. Well, he's an <laughs> Just interesting call him person. That. On, he's not interesting at all. It's not the Dos Equis prick. No. Some of the folks that, you don't know uh, I mean. that he passed, at least initially, which is you know not what you typically see when someone attacks a large crowd with a vehicle. Uh, Unless he's aiming for specific Andrew, people. They run a defense on him? We'll Again, he just defended him. He just did. He just yeah. defended him. Well, you know, we don't know if one of, uh, to be fair, uh, uh, prosciutto, uh, we don't know if one of those bitches uh, owed him money. So we will wait for more information. He, he, uh, she was 15. Yes, my, my point still stands. Bitch could have owed him money. We did see some changes, right, after other incidents had happened where vehicles were used Nothing. as weapons. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, the fact Nothing. that more people are... Do you need any more that proof that media is useless? I mean, we've already gone through comedy is useless because they want to be yeah, media. Right, right, and right. media is useless because they're, they're, they're spineless pieces of garbage. Well, oh, they're hilarious. Well, yes. if you guys go back to the Trayvon Martin case, where not only did the president come out and say, if I had a son, he would look like Trayvon Martin, but I believe, was it NBC or ABC who played like an edited clip and made it a race thing by saying, oh, he's black. And it was like, they left out the part right there where they said, is he white, Hispanic, black? And he was just responding. Zimmerman was just responding to the question. And you know what? We can probably bring this up. Uh, 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 oh, you mission mean the control? Mexican white supremacist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The Mexican white supremacist. The Maybe the mission control can uh, bring this up. I was doing an interview with Russia today, and I was doing it from uh, my parents' house at that point on Skype. And as they were interviewing me, I said, like, and let me guess, you're probably going to run that photo of a 14-year-old Trayvon Martin uh, and kind of, and, and they didn't have time to change it. It was on as I was saying it, <laughs> oh. and I couldn't see anything. But that's not really the argument people are bringing here. Just like you guys uh, decided to show the picture of Trayvon Martin, I don't know why the picture is several years old, whereas the Zimmerman picture is only his mug shot. This man hasn't seen a trial. He's been convicted <laughs> guilty by the American public. Hey, and that's not, Spike Lee right and now, Roseanne Barr publicly tweeting his what, address. Right there, this is not no, a man that's, that's, that's good. See right there in the production studio. You know, oh, someone's going, Fuck! I've always said there is no neutral media. No. Can, you, can you guys comment co Comment to those who are watching, uh, of course, in, in archive? What, what purpose does media serve? Uh, Honestly, what purpose propaganda. does... Propaganda. Especially a 24-hour news cycle. Look, Inciting riots? It used to be, if you had the you know, news at 7 or wh right. whatever time they would have it, uh, news at 11, whatever it is, news at 5, whatever, however often they would have it. I think four times a day All is three. about what they would have it. Three or four. They used to recap it so you knew what was going on. The whole idea behind 24-hour news was it could actually be proactive if there's a chase going on, if yeah. there's a manhunt going on. In this scenario, they have no interest, mm -hmm. none whatsoever. How long before the Kyle Rittenhouse situation, that night, did it come out that he was a white oh, yeah. supremacist or tied to militia? Right now, they have the police scanner audio. Yeah. They've and caught the guy. They have his criminal record, and uh, and we don't know if uh, you know he or she or uh, Z uh, in in there uh, you know uh, could have been aggravated. In fact, because it was not a gay pride parade, and that's uh, going to force us to take a, a a good long hard look at ourselves. Back to you, Anderson. Yeah, they have eyewitnesses. They have videotape of all of this. They had people just on saying, "I was within two feet. I could have reached out and grabbed the guy." Yeah, you couldn't give a description. <laughs> like he I'm not or saying, she. Listen, hold on. It doesn't matter if this guy was oh. black or white. Unless it fits a narrative for them, right? If it fits the narrative, that's it's why we're a white talking about guy that you have to be afraid of, which is what you're all being told right now. If it's a black guy, they don't want to offend anybody, and so they'll just cover that right up. Just and like it wouldn't be shooter. so important if they didn't. Yeah, the school shooter, shooter, absolutely though. He's right. He's one hundred percent right. They did that same thing. By the way, we got this chat from Zach French. Please shout out that uh, Waukesha Memorial Hospital has put out an urgent request for blood donations. Absolutely. Oh, and the yeah. city of Waukesha has also yeah, tweeted out about um, a community fund. Yeah. Great. I'd give you my blood, but you'd die instantly. Yes. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.